remember when Bill O'Reilly tried to go after Colin Kaepernick, tell him to read his book. Oh, I could not stand that. So I had a few words, my own talking points for Bill O'Reilly. Here's my message to Mr. Kaepernick and his sympathizers. No nation is perfect, but American police officers very rarely shoot civilians. The statistics prove it. Also, while there is social injustice and blacks have suffered in this country, most Americans deplore bias, and we have seen tremendous improvements in that area. To overhype the few police shootings that do occur and to create hostility toward your own country should be put in a basket of deplorables. Perspective is everything in life. Now, I am going to send Kaepernick a copy of Killing the Rising Sun. I am not confident he will read it. But if he does, he might understand that millions of Americans have given their lives for the cause of freedom. Freedom for blacks in the Civil War. Freedom for everybody in the Revolutionary War. Freedom for Asians and freedom for Europe in World War II and World War I. I do not respect Colin Kaepernick's actions. I think he is wrong in the extreme. And I think his frame of reference about his own country is scant. S-C-A-N-T. And I think that is stupid. S-T-U-P-I-D. Here's the reality. Did Bill O'Reilly just say that millions of Americans gave their lives for the freedom of black folks in the American Revolution? Last I check, black folks were not free during the American Revolution. In fact, last I check, many black folks who first came to this country in 1619 fought for the British in order to gain their freedom. That's a historical fact. Bill, what books are you reading? Because last I check, 1776, America founded. Uh, Emancipation Proclamation did not come on until 1863. Uh, almost 100 years later, Bill. So exactly. What black folks were freed during the American Revolution? Oh, then Bill, of course, cited the Civil War and again uh, somehow believing that, oh no, they were fighting for the freedom of black people. Really? So please explain to me the, the Great Compromise of 1877 that entered the period of Reconstruction after 12 years that ushered in Jim Crow. You know that deal that was cut where Republican Rutherford B. Hayes became president and Democrats said you got to pull the federal troops out of the South? See, that's the same history, Bill. So please explain to me again how black folks were freed because if black folks were freed with the Civil War then that means we would not have had Jim Crow. I mean we would not have had to go through the Civil Rights Movement. But then of course you then have the audacity the unmitigated gall to actually say that oh it was also about freeing black people during World War II. But please explain to me how many black soldiers came back to America and they still had racial hatred. Explain to me the black soldiers who were forced to ride in the back of rail cars when the German POWs were allowed to ride in front of them because of racism in America. See, Bill, you want Colin Kaepernick to read your book about patriotism and real patriotism. No, Bill O'Reilly. The real patriotism is when you're black in America and you fought for a nation even though that nation did not fight for you. That's real patriotism. So imagine those African Americans who fought in the Civil War knowing full well they were not fully free. Imagine the African Americans who fought in World War I and World War II and in the Korean War and the Vietnam War, knowing full well that America was not willing to see them as free. That's actual history. So Bill O'Reilly, damn your book. Colin Kaepernick should not read your book because your book is a joke when it comes to patriotism. So Bill, I got some books for you to read because it's clearly what you have been reading is absolutely nonsensical. So, Bill, here's the first one. Bloods, Black Veterans of the Vietnam War, an old history by Wallace Terry. You might want to read that book to get the sense of what it was like for black soldiers facing bigotry in Vietnam, supposedly fighting against communism when they're still fighting for freedom in America. How about this book, Bill? I never had it made, an autobiography of Jackie Robinson by Jackie Robinson. If you read that book, Bill, you know what you're going to find out? You're going to find out that it was Jackie Robinson who 
also say it in that very book why he did not salute the flag, why he did not uh, uh, stand for the national anthem because he said America has never seen me as truly an American. That's what Jackie Robinson said. By the way, Bill, he was a veteran, served in the Army, but also we had to go through a court martial in Texas when he chose not to ride at the back of the bus. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that black folks were freed in the American Revolution in the previous wars. So why did he have to ride at the back of the bus in El Paso, Texas? Let's go to the next book, Bill. Patton's Panthers, the African-American 761st Tank Battalion in World War II by Charles Sasser. That details those brothers uh, who were sitting here uh, fighting alongside Patton. Here's another book for you, Bill. American Patriots, the story of blacks in the military from the revolution to Desert Storm by Gail Lumet Buckley. Yes, right. Black folks, actual American patriots. Here's another book. Yeah, I, re I ran all down. Now, we're, we're reposting that commentary right now on my Facebook, Twitter pages, so y'all can actually go see that online right now. But, uh, you know, Bill need to understand. We, we got books, too. Yeah, exactly. And they have facts. And they're not distorted facts, and they're not facts from one side of the page. I mean, the truth of the matter is, we have had our history eliminated multiple times. It's interesting, you kept talking about 1619. They started bringing African slaves over here in the 1400s. The first agreement between African nations and a European nation on the slave trade in America was 1472. But See, we ain't been here. That's the unfortunate piece about being a white man. You just make up your own history and make up your own facts and make up your own stories, and then you tell everyone in the world, and you don't expect anybody to challenge you, and that's why your show and your voice has been so important. The moral of the story, black people know how to persevere. <laughs> right. That's a fact. And read. Right. And, and, and it makes no sense. Like Bill O'Reilly to a great number of white Americans, black people live on the periphery, and what you do with the show and what you did there, we well, centered us because we exist. Because nobody else would have clapped back. As Americans. I ain't as part of the fabric. Days on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us, he wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no. no. That ain't no cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out, because you got to fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin. Weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.